thing I'm going to talk about is this homemade fret wrap. I've never really wanted to buy or order a fret wrap, even though you can get them for not that expensive. I try not to use them very often, and especially when I practice, I mainly want to focus on using uh, string muting to cut out unwanted noise. So I don't need one of these but if you find yourself recording or doing something extra difficult that that you're really having trouble cutting out the uh the unwanted noise you may find yourself in need of a fret wrap and really this one is made from stuff that that came with orders i made from sweetwater or wherever uh, the wrap itself is a sure uh, cable wrap. I think it may have come with an XLR cable. I can't remember. And then um, I put a layer of foam on there for to get the appropriate thickness, and that just came from some packaging uh, on one of the products I bought. I just cut out the amount of foam I needed and then I used velcro uh because it added the thickness I wanted but you could very well just uh glue it the foam to the actual wrap itself and I made my uh layer that comes in contact with the strings I added an extra layer of uh the soft side of velcro and you know you play around with it and make sure it's tight enough where you can slide it off when you don't need it but you can slide it on and have it mute appropriately when you do need it um that's not something i thought of myself i, I think i may have seen some videos or read somewhere where some other guys had done that and one day i had this stuff laying around and made a fret wrap and it's just as effective as any one you may buy and you don't have to do something crazy like tie a sock to your guitar. <laughs> thing I'm going to talk about is the not so well kept secret of the gear world and it's using a washer that comes on a particular bottle of beer as a strap lock and you see that's the washer itself it makes the best strap lock you could ever want perfect size um I've never ordered an actual strap lock. I don't really care for them, actually. Um, and when I find myself in need of, of having a extra security on one of my nicer guitars, I, I get out these uh, washers that come from the beer bottles. And I will show you the brand of beer and see if I can pronounce it. Grolsch, I think is what they're called. They do come in four packs like that. And hey, it's a bonus. You get to drink some beer and uh, in turn make yourself some strap locks at the same time. If you can see on the uh, bottles there that the little red part that's where the washer comes from i'm pretty sure you can order almost the same or very similar washers from a hardware site but you know 
who wants to sit on there and try to figure out a bunch of parts on a hardware site when you can just drink some beer and have yourself some strap locks so hopefully anybody that didn't know about these go uh go make yourself some the fun way by drinking beer about this and it is tape it's actually grappling tape for your fingers if uh you know anybody that wrestles or does jujitsu sometimes your fingers can get banged up and the knuckles swell and this tape is specifically uh narrow so you can put it on the joints of your fingers this is the perfect solution for a loose tremolo bar. Um, now, a tremolo system that has the washer you can screw in to make the bar tight, and that actually works like it's supposed to, is a beautiful thing, and that's what you want most of the time. Um, but I've had some pretty expensive aftermarket tremolos that for whatever reason they uh even with when they were tightened down they had a little bit of give or wobble in the bar and man that drives me crazy um i want the bar to lead to accurate bends and and accurate note manipulation and to take that variable out of it um is the goal so when i've had uh bars that were loose and had a little bit of pull without actually doing what they were supposed to i'd take the grappling finger tape and start to wrap it uh where the bar does not screw in and maybe go one or two wraps in to the uh the screw part of the bar where once it screws in uh the bottom of where the tape is inserts and it's tighter than it's supposed to be and it's a modification that's can be undone just by taking the tape off and it doesn't hurt anything and by using the appropriate amount of tape you can really get that bar snug where it only moves how you want it to move. So grappling tape, I'm sure you can use other athletic tape like what you would wrap a hockey stack or hockey stick with or, you know, any kind of uh, tape that, that has a little bit of thickness and, and grip to it um, could help a wobbly whammy bar. Next, I'm going to talk about something else that that has a uh, whammy bar application but not so much the bar itself but for the whole system um, we've all seen the products that act as lubricants for your the nut of your guitar and string tree and anywhere uh, a string may bind that could cause your uh, tremolo system to go out of tune and I'm sure you can order those things and most of them I hear work pretty good I've never used one because <laughs> I have this and you can see there's only a little bit left um, 
but it's lasted forever and the little bit that's in there is probably going to last me another five years what that is is a mixture of vaseline and graphite so i got a tube of graphite um sprinkled it in mixed it in uh the vaseline uh you know there there wasn't any measuring you just kind of make sure you have enough in there and you take that little bit and put it in your your nut slots or under your string tree and it is a lubricant that uh stays on there and does its job for a very long time uh one of the positives of that is also one of the negatives so you can also see it and if you want to just eyeball and make sure your uh your nut and your string tree have uh, lubrication on them you can see this stuff it, it comes out as being dark black because of the graphite so you can actually see it on there and know hey um i don't i don't need to add anything the downside is you know if you've got your prized custom shop super boutique whatever um it can have some coloration that gets on your nut or really anything else you can uh touch with it i mean it's graphite so i don't think it would be that hard to get off but it can be a little messy um but you know all my guitars are players <laughs> Last thing I'm going to talk about is the do-it-yourself pedal board and as you can see this one is made out of whatever scrap wood I had laying around um, I'm not a carpenter I, I would say I am a bit lacking in woodworking skill but building a uh, pedal board out of wood just is not that hard um you know you have your standard of how you want it to be mine is that it works and uh so i didn't have to make it pretty or anything like that and really nailing a few pieces of wood together or uh even making a, a couple cuts um is just not that hard of a project now if you're one of these guys that that want something pretty of course you can make everything perfect and put super duper finger joints or whatever you would call them and you know do a finish and all that hey it's all good but the point is you can make a pedal board at home without ordering one <laughs> you do it yourself guitar gear tips uh low skill level required low cost easy to get stuff that may be around the house now um i didn't come up with any of these myself uh, they've all been done before um or they're they're spoke within the uh the histories of all the guitar gear bro forums throughout history but i just wanted to uh make a quick video of the ones i utilize and uh hopefully if uh somebody didn't know one or some of them then you can uh give give these all a try there there's nothing really to lose 
through any of these. They're all cheap and all can be undone as quickly as they're done. So hopefully somebody can get some use out of at least one of the tips on here. That's the end of this edition of Guitar Vacation. Until I see you again, you enjoy your guitar vacation. Later. Thank you.